as may be given away by the title, my crazy idea is to use meteorite, rocks from space, as a fertilizer. Now, my definition of a fertilizer is something that a living thing needs in order to grow, and if it doesn't have it, and you give it to it, then it'll grow better, right? So what in a meteorite is a living thing going to want? So these are your trace elements, right there. And this is the list of elements necessary for life. But back to these trace elements. They are absolutely necessary for life, but only needed in very small amounts, which is fortunate because they are only available in small amounts on the Earth's surface. But the biggest reason that those trace elements are not available on the Earth's surface is because they're not on the Earth's surface. When the Earth formed, it was hot, it was molten. And so those elements, the iron, the copper, the cobalt, the chrome, they sunk down and formed the Earth's core. And so our thousands of miles away from where life is and are therefore unreachable. The meteorite, however, never fully melted, so that element separation never occurred. Everything is still fully mixed in its original abundance. This means that the meteorite should make an excellent source of trace elements. I could use it instead of my trace element solution. The question, though, is, you know, there's more elements than just the ones that are needed for life here. You know, there's platinum and gold and many others. So maybe something in the meteorite is toxic. Maybe I really shouldn't be holding this in my bare hands. I don't think that's the case because if you think about it, most of those elements that we have came to the Earth after the Earth's surface solidified in the form of meteorites. But maybe the Earth has detoxified it over time. Maybe if we add a whole bunch of meteorite, it's going to be a problem. So let's grind some up and find out. I'm just going to knock off a little piece. There we go. Let's uh, throw these in the pestle and mortar. Let's grind them up into a fine powder. Okay, there we are. Got my meteorite dust. I've got four two-liter plastic bottles. You can see I've got them labeled. They're cleaned up. And down here I've weighed out all of the bulk nutrients. So we've got some distilled water here. Let's uh, put this nutrients in the water. There's the nitrate. Same amount of solution in each. And now I'm going to take the meteorite dust, which I've weighed out into two equal samples of 65 milligrams each. I'm going to put it into the two center bottles. There we go. One meteorite dust. Two meteorite dust. Perfect. Now these two bottles over here, you see I've got uh, trace written on them. I'm going to add a little bit of the trace element solution. So this has got the correct proportions of iron, copper, manganese, zinc, molybdenum, etc. So I'm just going to add uh, two milliliters of this solution to each of these two bottles. Okay, there we are. I'm going to seed each of the bottles with a sample of this tank algae. Got me a clean syringe here. Just going to do three milliliters in each. Sounds about right. There we are. I'll top these off with water. There we go. I'll add the Caps with the airline tubing. Turn on the lights. There we go. Come back in a week and see how it's doing. If the meteorite dust is a good fertilizer, the last three of these will probably end up a bright green. Uh, 
uh, if it's a poison, then the middle two should be less green. You guys get the idea. So results time. They've been bubbling away for a little over a week, and you can already see that the last three bottles on the end here are a nice dark green color, indicating that the algae is very healthy. But this bottle over here on the end is a pale yellowish green color. Now any gardener would know that this is what you see in plants when they're deficient in iron. Because that's exactly what's happened here. The algae is mineral deficient and so it's having a hard time. There's a little bit of minerals uh, in the algae and possibly in contaminants in the uh, other fertilizers I had, but it's clearly not enough to support much biomass. Something that is clear is that the meteorite dust is a viable fertilizing medium. And that's exciting. <laughs> and I, I kind of want to eat some algae that grew with meteorite dust now. I don't think it would be any problem. Let's pour it off into a filter so that we can collect the algae. Okay, the water's running through the filter. Most of the algae is getting caught. And now most of the water's run through. Let's scrape the algae up off the filter. There we are. Algae fertilized with meteorite dust. Tastes just like algae. I could eat that. So there you have it. Perhaps one day people will be eating crops grown with meteorite dust in the fertilizer. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.